good size from the Tumemai Namibia, lovely piece, um, Smithsonite in, uh, well, uh, some of the Smithsonites appear almost pink and that would lead us towards the Cobalt and Smithsonite and some have this undertone of yellowishness, if you look across that section, that may be a bit of cadmium inclusion. It's just my guesstimate though, I'm, I'm going to go with Smithsonite in my description and, and color, color definition, well I'm really not very good with colors. Also Tsumeb I find rather complicated as a, as a locality, there is so much happening there and everything is not what it seems to be. My theory, if, you, if we find a new element and we add it to the Raman spectroscope, the the ID the Raman will spit out will be different to previously because uh, that one element will make such a difference in the in the composition of, of actually any mineral. Um, as a matrix here we have uh, Galena. So Galena which would be lead in, in crystal form, actual lead. And then sitting on top of that is this lawn of, I think, at least two generational Smithsonite crystal. I suspect that these, these tiny crystals underneath the, the main body or underneath the Smithsonite crystals may be tiny Smithsonite crystals too. Maybe even some calcite or dolomite. All the way from the Tsumeb mine, there may be a quite an aesthetic, bright, bling bling piece with these lovely Smithsonite crystals, this lawn of Smithsonite sitting on this matrix.